Richard, I'm so happy to see you. Why haven't you been picking my calls? And why didn't you call me for my birthday? Paulina, I'm so sorry I didn't call you. I had a lot of things going through my mind. That's why. I hope you forgive me. But are you fine now? Are you okay, Richard? I'm fine. I'm sorry I didn't reach out to you for your birthday. But I bought you a late birthday gift. I hope you love it. I don't need any birthday gift from you. I was thinking on what to get for you. And this is what I chose. I hope you love the color of the car. Oh my god, Rogers, you've got to be kidding me, no. Yes, Paulina, this is your car. Rogers, I don't even know what to say. God, I wasn't expecting this. I'm short for words now. Like, I can't believe this. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Docas, Docas, you need to come outside right now. There's something else, Paulina. Rogers, don't tell me you got me another gift. Paulina, there's something I need to tell you. Lately, I've been thinking about you, and I've come to realize that you're not just a beautiful lady, but also a loving lady with a heart of gold. I tried to run away from the truth, which is my feelings for you, but I've decided to be honest with myself. I love you, Paulina. Richard, what? All this while, I've been lying to myself, but not anymore. I love you so much, and I don't want to lose you to anyone. Neither do I want to live life without you. Paulina, please, will you marry me? Richard, you don't have to say yes if you are not sure. Richard, yes, like yes, yes, I'll marry you, Richard. I love you so much. I love you, Angel. George, are you sure this is where Paulina lives? I'm sure, Favor. This is Doka's new place. How does that girl afford a place like this, George? Do you know how much it costs to rent a house on this island? Mr. and Mrs. George, what a surprise! Please come inside. You are welcome. Thank you, Dockers. You have a very lovely apartment. I went to your old place to look for you, but they directed us here. Yes, yes, let's. I left that place already. This place is really lovely. Paulina didn't even mention it to me that you're no longer staying at the old place. It probably skipped my mind. I'm sure she doesn't want us to know where she now lives. That's why. But I'm just curious. Dockers, how are you able to afford a house here? My parents, ma. Please, would you like me to get you anything to drink, sir? No, please just call Paulina out for us. We want to see her. You just missed her, sir. She's not that time. She stepped out. She stepped out by this time of the night. Do you know what the time is? Don't mind my wife. Can you please call her on the phone so she can know that we are around? Sir, she's not picking the call. We wait for her. I'm sure she won't stay out for long, right? Let's go and get you something to drink, sir. I don't know how happy I am in my soul. Polina, you just made me the happiest man in the world. I'm also happy here, Richard, and I feel lucky. I am the lucky one, and I promise you that you won't ever regret saying yes to me. But I wasn't expecting this, like marriage. It didn't even cross my mind that you asked me to marry you. You're a good girl, Paulina, and a lady like you should be married and treated right. I was wrong to have ever made the suggestion on dating you and allowing you to sleep with other men. That was so wrong of me. Please forgive me for that. I didn't even do that. You're the only one I've been with, Richard, even with the terms of our relationship. You are also the only person I've been with, Paulina. I'm not a man that sleeps around. I love loyalty and commitment. These are the key words that guide me. Richard, you know I'm going to be new to this whole marriage stuff when we eventually get married. I know, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. There will be no rush. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Angel. Hello, beauty. How are you, my love? <laughs> Larry, I'm not fine. Jesse did it again. He cheated on me again. What? He cheated on you? Beauty, you shouldn't be with that man. I told you to leave him already, didn't I? I love him, Larry. I just don't know why he keeps treating me this way. Where are you right now? Send me your location so I can come pick you. I'm in front of his house. He sent me out and the lady beats me up. I'm in so much pain right now. You know what? Just stay where you are. I'm coming to pick you up now. What happened, man? And who are you going to pick? Remember the lady I told you about beauty? Yeah, what about her? She's in a complicated relationship with this jetty guy. Like this guy treats her like trash, cheats on her, lies to her. Damn. See, I've advised her to leave him, but she keeps saying she needs time. Can you imagine? I don't think you should waste your time on ladies like her. If she does not realize that she's in a toxic relationship at this point, damn. I don't know what to say. Well, this is an opportunity to get her into my loving arms. I'm going to pick her. I bet you that lady will keep going back to her lover no matter what you do. And if you're not wise, she will end up using you as a third wheel. Now I see why your dad doesn't like you talking on Aunt Tessa. Anyways, I'm going to pick her up. You'll see later, man. Wish me luck. Good luck to you too. Everyone knows I do. Baby, we need to get going. It's already late. Dockers, why isn't Paulina home yet? I mean, look at the time. Don't tell me this is the time she normally comes home. She's out with her friends for her birthday celebration, ma. That is why she's not back. Polina is turning to something else. 
George is a responsible lady meant to still be out by this time and she's not even picking anyone's call. Dockers, we will be taking our leave now. Do well to tell her that we came over. If it's left to me, I'm going to stay here throughout the night until she comes home. That won't be possible, ma. Why not? Are you driving me out of your house or is it because we both know Paulina has gone to do her job of sleeping around with men? Cause I know you know where she is. I'm sorry about my wife's words. We only came to wish Paulina a happy birthday and to remind her that we love her. Tell her to come back home and see us when she returns. I'm sorry about all of that. Please make sure you tell her we came and dock us. Make sure you concentrate on your studies. You are also done, right? Yes, I am. Good. Read your book well so all your efforts won't go to waste. And thank you for giving Paulina a roof over her head. It's not easy. Thanks for you coming over. See you around, Dockers, and take good care of yourself. Paulina, mom will never think. She just likes to talk too much on things that doesn't concern her. I mean, what's her business on the rent price? Why can't she be like Mr. George? You're finally home, Dad. I was just about to call you. Since you are home, Charlie, I would like to introduce you to someone special. I remember her face. She's the lady that came the other day. Paulina writes, Who is she and what's she doing here by this late hour, Dad? I see you don't want me to do the introduction. Well, we'll talk in the morning, son. Dad, is she spending the night here? Paulina, go upstairs. I'll come and meet you. Dad, please don't tell me this is happening. Dad, you're joking, right? Son, please, no more questions. I am tired and I don't want to talk much about this. I'm going to bed. Baby, I'm coming to meet you now. Dad, you cannot be serious right now. That lady is too young for you. Is this what you now do? Take young girls from the club and bring them to the house. I don't have your time for nonsense talks. Dad, this is my mother's house. Is this what you're doing on mom's bed? This is why I wish you would just go back to England. You know what? Son, please, you can leave tomorrow if you are not fine with the way I'm living my life. Daddy, what are you doing? Daddy, this is wrong. If I was in love by you and our friends, living... I'm so sorry for bringing you out here this late. It's nothing. I'm sorry Jesse treats you this way. I mean, what did you do to him? I didn't do anything to him, Larry. I've only always loved him. Stop crying, beauty. Crying isn't good for your health. I don't know why you are still here with this guy. Why do you keep loving this guy? He doesn't deserve you. I know. And Larry, this time around, I will do things right. This time, it is really over between us. Look at the way the lady beats me. Just look at my whole body. I hope you mean it this time. Not for anything, boy. For yourself because you deserve better than this. I know, Larry. And thank you so much for always being a phone call away. <laughs> I don't even know what to do again. Stop crying, beauty. I know you have headaches already. I do. I just want to go home. Would you like to sleep over at my place or should I take you home? I just want to go home, Larry. I don't want to be around any man. I'll take you home, beauty, but please stop crying. Just isn't watch your tears. He isn't, Larry. He's a good for nothing man. I hate him. I hate how he treats me. I'm sorry about my son. It's okay. I hope there's no problem though. No, really. We just had a little chat downstairs. He'll be fine. I saw him the other day I came here. Did he tell you I came around? He did. Charlie hardly forgets a thing. So that means he didn't call me on purpose. And for a moment, I thought he didn't remember to tell you. All those are the past. I will never miss your calls anymore, I promise you. Fine, but Charlie didn't seem happy to see me. Let's not talk about Charlie. I don't want to ruin the moment. What do you want us to talk about, Richards? Our wedding? Do you know that I was scared when I popped the big question? Like my heart was beating really fast. I thought you were going to reject me. I should have rejected you though. <laughs> Please, don't reject my proposal. I might just have an heart attack. Please, don't have an attack, babe. Accept your proposal and I'll accept it a hundred and one time again. I'm glad you said yes to me. Well, now we have a wedding to plan ahead. I think we need to start making plans as soon as possible. What plans are you referring to? The wedding plans or what? Don't worry on that. I hope you will tell Prince about my proposal so he will stop coming to the house every now and then. I knew you were always jealous of Prince. I just knew it. He's a nice guy though. I've run into him in Ben's hospital. Yeah, his mom is sick. Aww, that's really sad. What's wrong with her? You have to know your words, beauty. You can't keep letting Jesse toss you around. You must have some sense of pride as a lady if you want to be respected. Larry, I've heard all you said to me and you are right about it. This isn't about telling me that I'm right. I want you to make the right decision for yourself. Let's forget about the fact that I love you right now. You need to love yourself. I love myself, Larry. If you love yourself, you won't be with a man like Jesse who gives you reason to cry. I've heard you. Thank you so much for bringing me home. I really appreciate you. You don't need to thank me. I want you to think about what I said to you. Put yourself first, beauty, and love yourself. I will. Thank you once more, Larry. 
One more thing, don't forget the conversation we had the other day. I love you, beat it, but don't keep me waiting for too long. I won't, Larry. I need to go inside. I also need to get going now. Please don't overthink anything. Jesse isn't worth crying over. Make sure you rest well. I'll call you in the morning. I will try. Take care and drive safe. I can't believe we wasted three hours waiting for that stupid girl. Three hours. Baby, calm down. You know we didn't even tell her we were coming. So that's why she went out till 11 p.m. George, if not that you ask that we come home, I will sit down there and wait for her to come home. Favor, you are being dramatic right now. I know you will never want to agree with me, but didn't you see it all with your eyes? The house. George, we both know how expensive it is to rent a one-bedroom apartment in that area. But Dokas and Paulina are living in a two-bedroom apartment. I know, but Dokas' parents are well to do. That's a big lie. Our parents will never rent a house that cost about 7 million for her. Baby, 7 million! How do you know the house rents? I already called my friend that lives in the same estate and she told me the price. George, believe it or not, Paulina is sleeping with men for money. I just hope this is not true. See, you are messing my brain with all your words. I just pray she doesn't end up like a mother. Favor, stop saying that. I hope you know that if anything should happen to Paulina, you are part of the course. Me? Did I send her out of the house or push her to start sleeping around? Mark my words, George. Paulina will soon come home pregnant with a baby for you. Good morning, Angel. The sleeping queen is finally up. Good morning, my love. I hope you slept well. I did, but babe, hope I didn't snore through the night. And what's the time? I think I slept for too long. It's just it, and there is nothing like sleeping for too long. I'm sure your body just needed the rest. You look very beautiful this morning, even without makeup. Thank you, Richard. I need to get ready for my classes. You are no more going for that. I don't want you there anymore. I'm going to still attend the classes, Richard. Maybe not today, but tomorrow. What would you like for breakfast? Don't worry on that. I've asked Susan to make us breakfast already. I didn't even ask you for your opinion as you were sleeping like a baby. You're so funny, babe. I would have loved to be the one who make me breakfast. You don't need to do that. I don't like my woman to be stressed out. I love cooking, Rogers, and I know you also love cooking. I've missed all your unique delicacies. I'll cook for you one of these days. Why don't you go and freshen up in the bedroom while I finish up some things? Good morning, mom. I hope you slept well. And how was your body? I am good, son. I hope you slept well. I did, mom. You are up early. When did you wake up, mom? You woke up late, son. Do you know the time? Past 10. What? Past 10? I must have woke up late because of the stuffs I was doing last night. But I am fine, mom. I know you are fine, but next time, try to sleep on time. Thank you, mom. I appreciate you and love you. I've not seen Paulina around for quite some time now. Are you both having a fight? No, mom. We are not fighting. I have just been busy with some stuff lately. I don't believe you'll be too busy for Paulina. What happened between you two, son? Tell me, or are you over her already? Mom, it's nothing really. You know I asked her to be my lover on her birthday, but she declined again. Oh, now I get why I've not been seeing her around. It's not even that, mom. My feelings for her haven't changed. I just want to give her a little space to see if she will miss me and realize she loves me. I see. Well, son, I shall always tell you, if Paulina is not for you, find someone else. It's Paulina. She's the one my heart has chosen and no one else. Well, I hope she sees that soon. She's a lovely lady and I like her. Anyways, when you two finally get to see, send my regards to her. I will do that. Let me go and freshen up, mom. I will come back to check on you. And please don't do anything stressful. I will even call Ada to come and stay with you when I am going to work. Don't call Ada. I will be fine by myself. I will call her, mom. You are not staying alone at home. I see you are finally up, dad. Good morning, daddy. Hello, son. Seems like you woke up hungry. And where is Susan? I sent her to get something for me. And don't worry, she hasn't made breakfast for you as I've eaten everything she made. You ate the food I asked Susan to prepare for me and my bride. Your bride? I don't understand. Did you get married behind my back, dad? Is that what you're saying? Polina is going to be my bride soon. Well, I will make us some tea. We can enjoy the food. We will go out and get something to eat. Daddy, I don't understand you. Can you please try to clarify things for me because I need answers to all the questions in my head. Charlie, what questions do you possibly have? Is it about Polina or who? Yes, it's about the lady you took to your room last night. Polina is my fiancé. I've known her quite some time now. And I love her. And I hope that answers all the questions you might want to ask. You love that young girl? Dad, can you hear yourself? I love her. And she's not a girl. She's a lady. A full-grown lady. I can't believe my ears. Dad, so it's now young ladies that are old enough to be your children that you are sleeping with. Is this what you've been doing at home? Son, I don't care about your opinion. This is my life. And I can do what I want. Stop making an issue out of it. 
Daddy, don't tell me this is what Aunt Tessa has pushed you to. Charlie, didn't I tell you not to mention her name in this house? I don't care, Dad. See, that lady is too young for you. What you're doing is wrong. What am I doing wrongly, son? I'm going to marry her legally. I'll pay all the bride rights. So what am I doing wrong? Or am I the first man to get married to a young lady? Am I? Daddy, you should be with a lady who's matured. Someone in their 30s or 40s. I tried that with your loving aunt, Tessa. And what did she do at this latest opportunity? She wanted to kill me and take all of my properties. I'm not saying you should be with Aunt Tessa again. I'm saying you should stop sleeping around with young girls. It's not good for your image, dad. What image are you talking about, Charlie? You're a well-respected man. I've heard enough, Charlie. I won't stand here and watch you lecture me on respect. Hello, Prince. How are you doing? I am good, and you? I hope you are good. I'm fine. I'm sorry I missed your calls. I've been occupied lately, that's why. I was beginning to get worried that I might have offended you and maybe that's why you don't want to pick my calls. No Prince, you didn't offend me. I've just been busy and I guess you've been busy because it's been some days now since we last spoke. Yeah, I have been really busy in the shop. I just shipped in some new goods. That's nice to hear. How's my loving mother doing? She's doing very fine. She even asked of you this morning. Oh, please send my regards to her. When I'm free, I'll come and check on her. Okay, so what are your plans for today? Are you going to be free later in the evening? I don't have any plans yet, but I might go out later. But I'm also not sure about that. Anyhow it turns to be, I'll let you know. Okay then, have a lovely day and also try to be picking up your calls. Okay, Prince, we'll talk later. What is wrong with you? You did not even come out to talk to me and your dad. Nothing, mom. I'm just not in the mood to talk about anything right now. I just want to be alone. Alone? Why is that? What is wrong with you? Talk to me. Nothing serious, mom. It is just that Jesse and I are having issues. Mom, he's always doing things that make me sad and unhappy. He doesn't treat me right, mom. That's not good, beauty. You should be with someone who treats you right. I know, mom, but I love him so much. I just wish he would treat me right. Do you think he will change? Mommy, I don't know. He keeps making fake promises all the time. You don't need that kind of man in your life, Beauty. You, you need someone who will keep his words. Don't you see the way I and your father are? Although we argue a lot, he still loves me and treats me well. I know, Mom. Do you know that they have moved from their old house? They now live in Swiss estates. Can you imagine? Mom, did you say Swiss estates? That's where Jesse stays, Mom, and the rent is very high. I know it's expensive. Only God knows how many men they've both slept with to just live in that kind of house. What did Daddy say, Mom? Why are you acting like you don't know your dad? He was still looking for excuses for her, but he knows the truth in his heart. I wish I had met her at home yesterday. I would have insulted her, but your father has told me to let her be. This is not good, mom. I just hope Paulina doesn't end up destroying her life. I pray she destroys her life. That's only when she will learn her lesson. Good day, sir. I'm Larry. Please, I'm asking for beauty. Larry, your name doesn't sound familiar and neither does your face, but you're welcome. Please have your seat. Thank you, sir. Beauty! Beauty, I'm sure she will come outside now. So, are you a classmate from school or one of the plenty suitors? <laughs> I'm still sure applying to be a suitor, sir. But she's giving me a tough time. Sounds like beauty. She and her mother are alike. Do you know how long it took me to convince her mother to marry me? But you know some women are worth chasing. That's true, sir. And your daughter is worth it, sir. Larry, what are you doing here? I was not expecting to see you here. That's probably because if he asked you, you would have said no. Dad. I know what you young ladies are like in your prime. Remind me to tell you how your mom acted towards me before accepting me. It was nice meeting you, Larry. Good luck. I'm sorry I didn't call you before coming. I was just worried about you. That's why I came over to check on you. That's so thoughtful of you. I'm happy to see you though. Thanks for yesterday. How are you doing? I hope you didn't sleep last night with tears in your eye. I'm fine, Larry. And don't worry, I didn't cry for too long. I slept off immediately after I took my bath. I'm glad to hear that beauty. I don't want to see you cry over anyone except if it's tears of joy like when I popped the big questions to you. You're very funny. So what were you and my dad talking about? Charlie, don't you know how to knock on the door? Or have you lost your respect for me? Rutas, it's okay. Please don't make an issue out of that. Please, I would like to talk to you, dad. We are not done with our conversation. What else do you have to say, son? What is it? I'll leave you two to talk. I'll be downstairs. Daddy, you can't possibly be serious about all of this. Like, it doesn't even make any sense to me. Daddy, think about what you're doing. Charlie, what part of this is my life don't you understand? Okay, apart from the fact that she's young, what other reason do you have against her? Daddy, she's not in love with you. Don't you see that as well? 
Why would you say that, son? Is it because I'm older than her and she's young, right? Or she's probably going to poison my food like Tessa so she can have my properties? I didn't say that, dad. But we both know that these young ladies are all after men that they can fool for their money and Paulina is not different, dad. Thank you for your care towards me, but I've watched this lady for some time now and I tell you, she's not that kind of person. Daddy, you can't marry her. She shouldn't even be sleeping here in this room. Charlie, if you're not fine with the way I'm living my life, you can go back to England and do whatever you want to do with your life. Dad. I'm not going to listen to you anymore. If you don't have anything better to tell me, I'm leaving. Thank you, son. I really appreciate you with my whole heart. You're welcome, mom. I'm just glad that the whole medication is working. I am as well, son. I know you spent a lot of money to get me this treatment, son. Mom, I told you I didn't pay for it. It was a good Samaritan that paid for it in the hospital. The person remains unknown, but I am grateful for it. Are you seriously telling me that it wasn't you? Yes, mom. The money I was saving for the treatment is not yet complete. But Dr. Ben called me that there were five slots for free treatments and he wanted you to be a part of it. Oh my God, I can't believe this. May God bless Dr. Ben and whoever paid for this. Amen, Mom. Mom, is there anything you need me to get for you? Nothing really, son. I just feel sleepy. Can you get me the book underneath my pillow? I will just read it and sleep. Okay, Mom. That's a good idea for you to sleep. And remember, you have to get enough rest. I will rest, son. Why hasn't Paulina called me yet? Or has she forgotten that she said she will call me? Or is she so busy to call? Why does Prince keep calling me? I thought I said I would call him when I'm free. Why can't he just be understanding? I know if Rocha sees his call on my phone, he'll be angry. I'm sorry about Charlie. I don't know what his problem is. I just wish he would let me be and go back to his England. Is everything okay, Richard? I could hear you raising your voice at Charlie. It is nothing serious. Don't bother yourself on it. It's just a father and son conversation. Are you sure this is not about me, babe? You don't have anything to worry about. It wasn't about you, my love. So, have you decided that we'll just have the civil wedding? Richards, I know the civil wedding idea is nice, but I want a church wedding. Come on, babe. I told you, if it's white gown you want to wear, I'll buy you three different white gowns. You wear one for the court and the other one for the reception. Why don't you want a church wedding? I just want us to keep it simple and classy. Hello, Dockers. How are you doing today? Please, please come and sit down. I'm doing fine and you. I am good. Please, is Paulina home? I have been trying to reach her, but she is not responding to my calls, and I don't know why. She's not home, Prince. I'm sure she is probably busy. That's why. I spoke with her earlier on, and she said we would see. I made plans for hers already. I'm so sorry about that. I've not spoken to her yet, though. You know she is busy with all these old registration and all. Oh, I see. She didn't even tell me about it. It's because you both haven't spoken. If not, I am sure she would have mentioned it to you. That's true though. Anyways, please let her know that I came by the house. I'll definitely do that. How is your mom doing? I hope she's fine. She's doing fine. Thank you for asking. I'll take my leave now. I wonder what Prince would do when he finds out Ponya said yes to Rocha's proposal. I hope the food is nice, my love. Yes, Angel. It's actually tasty. I'm enjoying it. Your chef is good. I only hire the best. But you know your cooking is actually my favorite. I can't even prepare this kind of food. I don't even know the name. <laughs> There's a lot of catering schools around. I'm sure you'll be able to learn how these foreign delicacies are made. That would be a great idea. Then someday I'll have my own entry. That's a great idea. Whatever dream you have, I will support you to the fullest. Good morning, Dad. Charlie, good morning. My darling Paulina, this is my one and only son, Charlie. What a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Charlie. Baby, it was the one I met the other day when I came to look for you. Daddy, are you really serious about this? I don't want to start my morning with this conversation, son. Paulina, please take your seat. Charlie has quite an awful temper at times like me, but he's a sweet boy. I can't believe you, Dad. What was that about, Richards? I hope it's not because of me. Don't worry about Charlie. Enjoy your meal, my love. Is that what you both were arguing about last night? Paulina, I'm telling you to eat your food. Don't worry about me and my son. We both understand ourselves perfectly well. Tokas has gone to classes already. Your parents came by the house yesterday and Prince was also here. My parents came here? What? How did they find out where I live? The door is open, come in. Daddy, mommy, what are you both doing here? I believe you're supposed to greet guests whenever they come visiting you. Isn't that what I taught you, Paulina? Good morning, mom. Good morning, dad. I'm sorry for my outburst. I was just surprised to see you here. You know there's no way I will let you leave the house without me watching your movements. Thank you. 
We came over yesterday to see you. Didn't your friend tell you or didn't you come home last night? She told me about it. I'm still surprised to see you boy here. I hope everything is fine at home and beauty is okay. Everything is fine. Paulina, is this Doka's new place? Yes, dad. It is a lovely place. A lovely place indeed. But I don't think our parents can even afford this kind of house. Do you know that things aren't going so well for our parents at the moment or didn't she tell you? Favor, that's not why we are here. Paulina, happy birthday my princess. Thank you daddy. Thank you mommy. Me and your mom have talked about things and we decided that since you are 23 now, it is best for us to give you the support you can get with your school. You have stayed so long at home already. Daddy, oh my god. You can't afford your current university but there's this university whose form is currently being sold. You can apply for it by next month and you resume school before the end of the year. That's your birthday gift from us to you. What's the name of the school dad? Henry's College. They don't offer nothing there dad. We know, but you can pick another course of your choice. You mustn't become a nurse. Larry, thank you for being there for me when I needed someone to talk to. You're always welcome, Beauty. I hope you make the right decision this time around as you promised you will. Larry, thank you for being there for me when I needed someone to talk to. Is that the lady who's going to spinning around your toes? Yes, she is. She's really beautiful, isn't she, Charlie? Yeah, she's beautiful. But are you guys not together? Officially dating? Not yet, but she has promised me that she's going to consider my offer this time around as a man keeps treating her wrongly. Stories. Those are tales that can never come to pass. I hope you know that. I've got a little glitch of hope that she's going to do the right thing this time around. Well, I hope so. But what was she doing here this early? She spent the night here as she and Jesse got into another argument. Oh, so you are the crying show that she comes to for relaxation. You're not serious. So what brings you here this early? Don't tell me you and your dad are already having issues. Do you know about Paulina? No. Who is Paulina? My parents are just so annoying, though, guys. Like, the first question I ask myself is how did they even find out I'm staying here? I was equally shocked to see them there last night. I guess they are monitoring your every moment, even though you are not at home. Shouldn't they monitor Beauty's movements instead? Why me? So what did they say to you? They want me back home and they even told me that they were going to pay my school fees to another school. Really? Why can't they raise you the money you need for this current school? They don't have money at the moment. See, I don't even want to think of them. Why did you tell them though? I told them I've heard them. What else can I say to them? You and I know that you can't possibly go back to your adopted parents place. Not after they treated you the way they did. Want even the possibility that you will go back to school when you are back to them. I'm not going back there. What about the old drama you and Rochas played yesterday? Girl, he took me by surprise. Like, it was totally unexpected. It was actually unexpected. I mean, like, why would he even ask you to marry him? Why are you still asking that question? Isn't it obvious that he loves me? But you can't possibly think of marrying him. Why not? He's older than you, Paulina, and you are really young. Why should you get married to a man like Rochas when there's a lot of other young men out there? I love him, Dorcas. And I want to marry him. Like, I really want to. I don't think Paulina wants to go to Royal College. It's obvious. I also noticed that. Well, we've tried our best for her. How did we try our best, Fevo? I told you she wants to be a nurse, not study an education course. Imagine all the years she has stayed at home. Why are you telling me this, George? Don't tell me you are thinking of paying her fees. I can pay it, but it's really expensive. You are not paying a dime on Paulina. She left the house, remember? I didn't drive her. No one did. And what's even the possibility that she will use the money for her school? That girl needs our help. She's doing just fine on her own, George. Stop worrying about worrying too much. She seems pretty confident that she doesn't need us in her life. After all, she's sleeping around with men for money. So what do you expect? Favor. Yesterday proves it so well. See, I'm done with Paulina. I don't care about her. My only is, if she just gets pregnant, she shouldn't bring the baby here for us. So how did it go last night? I did the right thing, Ben. I asked her to marry me and she agreed to it. That's great. Congratulations, man. I see we are having a wedding real soon. <laughs> there is no rush on the wedding stuff. We are going to take it gradually, one step at a time. Of course, Richards. I'm happy for you, man. Congratulations. Thanks, man. But there's a little problem here, Charlie. What about Charlie? Did you tell him about the whole stuff already? Didn't he tell you that he's coming to Nigeria? He told me, but he didn't tell me the yet. Charlie's around, Ben. He came in two days ago, and I didn't even know he would be at home. But I didn't really care about it at all. Let me guess. Charlie isn't cool with the whole idea of you and Paulina. He's not cool with it, and he's already trying to make a big scene out of it. See, I don't want any issues at home. Just talk to him, Ben. 
I mean, it's understandable that he would react the way he did. What is understandable there? Like, I don't even understand what his problem is with me or Paulina. What's his business on whom I decide to get married to? You know Paulina is young. Don't worry about Charlie. I'll talk to him. My darling Paulina, you're welcome. How are you doing? I'm fine, ma. How's your body? I am doing fine. It's always good to see you come around, Paulina. Thank you, ma. You just missed Prince on your way here. He had to go to the shop to sort out some goods that just came in for him. Oh, I didn't even call him on my way here. Well, I'm here. We can both have a little chat together. As it's been long, we both saw each other. How was your birthday celebration the other day? It was fine, ma. All thanks to Prince. It took me by surprise. My son is a sweet boy. But what's the issue here, Paulina? Why haven't you said yes to him yet? Isn't he good enough for you? Mom, it's not that. Prince is a great guy, but I'm not interested in him that way. Why not, Paulina? Tell me, is something wrong with him? Or does he portray any character that you don't like? Ma Angel, I hope you've not been waiting for too long here. No, I just got in not quite long and I decided to let myself in. I had a long day, Richards, having to go and submit my documents at school. I saw your car out there. Why didn't you take the car? I don't know how to drive, Richards. Have you forgotten already? Don't remind me. Well, I'll be your personal trainer. At least before you resume school, you should be able to drive your car around. I love the idea of that. Thank you, Richards, for everything. Like, I really appreciate you. Thank you too for setting me as I am, Paulina. I make one promise to you that you won't ever regret saying yes to my proposal. Ah, uh, I'm blushing, Richards. I love you so much. I love you more. I have to get going. We'll see you tomorrow. Spending the night. Tonight, my lady. I have some things I need to attend to. I'll call you when I'm home. You can't possibly tell me to let my dad marry her. Why not, Charlie? I mean, he can't live all alone in the house forever. He needs a partner in his life. I know he does, but it can be anyone but her. She's too young and I'm sure she's only with him because of the money he's giving to her. Else, why would she be with him? Making assumptions, Charlie. See, I don't see any big deal here. Larry, you don't understand what I'm saying. That's why you're sounding like this. Do you know the most annoying part in all of this? She spent the night in my mom's bedroom. Charlie, allow your dad to do his thing. Let's talk on something else. The only thing on my mind is that girl who's supposed to be his fiance. Like how could my dad even think of proposing to her? I know that's the only thing on your mind, but you've got to let go of it for now at least. The most important factor here is your dad's happiness. My dad's happiness? Larry, isn't that the lady I saw at your place earlier on? Yeah, that's beauty. What the? I guess that's the lover she was to leave you for, right? Yes, that's Jesse. They settled their disagreement, so it seems. Let's go, Charlie. Don't tell me you're leaving because of her. Mom told me you came over. I had to go and sort out some things in the store. Told me, and we both had some little chat. My mom is a really lovely person. I know. So how is the whole school stuff going? I told you to tell me how much the teacher fee is so I can also support you. Prince, you don't need to worry on that. There's something I want us to talk about. What's that, Paulina? Prince, I'm getting married. What? Prince, I'm serious here. I'm getting married. Married? This is a bombshell right now. Like, what are you saying? Who are you even getting married to? To Rochas. The man who has always been coming over whenever I am here with you. Is that the man you are referring to? Or is there someone else who bears Rochas? He's the one, Prince. See, all along I kept telling you I wasn't interested. I can't believe this, Paulina. Wait, that old man is your lover? No, he and I weren't lovers, Prince. He was just a guardian to me. Oh, please shut up. You mean all this while, when I was coming here, you both were having an affair and you didn't think to tell me? I am rich as weren't having an affair, Prince. Believe me on this. I can't believe anything you are saying out of your mouth. Why would you want to be with that old man? Why would you choose him over me? Is it because he's wealthy? It's not because of money. I love him. You love him. But why didn't you tell me this all along? Why didn't you tell me you have someone you are involved with? Prince, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. You are a greedy lady. You are so greedy and self-centered. I love you, Paulina. All these months, I showed you love, care and attention, and then you do this to me. Prince, stop right there. See, I won't let you make me feel like I've done anything wrong to you. I've always told you from the first day that I want us to be friends. Friends? I have also told you that I wanted more from you, didn't I? You know you should have told me who your child was to you from the start. It was nothing to me but a guardian. 
you are getting married to your guardian Paulina. It all makes sense now. Now I get why he always leaves the house whenever he sees me around and why you had always run after him. So is he the one funding your lifestyle? Friends. You are just like Dockers. You both are no different. You Paulina, you are worse than Dockers. At least everyone knows that's what she does but you, you are a green snake under the green grass. Prince, is everything alright? You've been quiet and been keeping to yourself for quite some time now. What's wrong, son? Mom, it's nothing you need to bother on. I am fine. You're not fine, son. Come on, talk to me. Tell me, what's wrong with you? Mom, I am fine. Don't worry about me. Have you taken your medications already? I have taken them. Now you can tell me what's bothering you. Mom, I don't want to bother you with my own issues. Prince, you're not bothering me in any way. But if you don't tell me what's wrong, I'll start getting bothered on you. Mom, it's Paulina. She's getting married. She's getting married? Really? Oh my dear son, I am so sorry to hear this. Mom, all this while she led me on, lied to me and you knew what the most painful part is. I think she was having an affair with this man all along and she never said a word to me. Son, I am so sorry to hear this. Mom, I don't know how to express how I feel cause deep inside my heart I still love her and I still want her like I want her back. Prince. Mom, I can't lose her. I love her despite all of this, but I am hurting right here. Like, how could she want to marry that old man? How, oh, mom? Am I not good enough for her? You have a beautiful apartment. Let me guess. It's my dad that got this place for you, right? And that is a large spender. And the car outside, is he the one that also got it for you? Why are you here, Charlie? I'm sure it's not to ask me the things your dad bought for me or didn't buy for me yet. Why are you my father, Paulina? I mean, what's your motive for what you're doing? I don't understand your question. Why are you with a man old enough to be your dad? How old are you, Paulina? I love your dad, Charlie, and age has never been a factor for love. Is that the lie you tell yourself to hide away from your true motive? Is that it? I'm not a liar, Charlie, and I don't know what you think about me, but that's not me. <laughs> Paulina, we both know that you're only here to take away my dad's money. Have him spend lavishly on you while you go out there and sleep with other young men. I will never do that to Richards. Richards, so you call him by his name. But I'm curious though, do your parents support this stupid decision of yours to marry my dad? Charlie. Just tell me how much you want me to pay you off my dad's back. Charlie, I'm not interested in your money or your dad's money. I love him and he loves me too. Stop with all of the love tales. We both know that's not true. So just tell me your price. What's wrong, Paulina? You've barely touched your food. Richard, something happened earlier today at the house. Charlie came over. Charlie came over? Which Charlie are you referring to, my son? Yes, Richard, your son. He came over and started accusing me of so many things. He called me names, said I'm a gold digger who's after your money. Charlie came over to tell what? Not just that, Richard. He even wanted to pay me off. He told me to tell him any amount I want that he was going to pay me off. Um, I'm sorry Charlie came over to the house to spill all of this. I'll get him in check once I get home. He was wrong to go over to your house and talk to you this way. I don't want any issues, Richard. Like, I don't want to be in a place where families will start fighting because of me. I and Charlie will not fight, I promise you. I will just talk to him. What if he still doesn't see reasons with you? That's not for you to worry about. On behalf of my son, I'm sorry. I will talk to him and make sure he comes back to the house and I apologize to you. Richard, I don't need him to apologize to me. I kind of understand him. He cares about you and he doesn't want you to be hurt again. Is that what he told you? What is she doing here, Dad? Charlie, that's not the way to greet my lover. Daddy, what the hell is all of this? Like, I don't understand what you're doing right now. You won't talk to me that way in front of my bride. Angel, please calm down. It's okay. I'm not offended by anything Charlie says. Oh, shut up. Who invited you to be part of this conversation? Charlie, you are going to apologize right now, this moment, to Paulina. I don't care about how you are going to do this, but apologize now. I will not apologize. That see, I know you want to get married and you need companion, but this gold digger right here isn't the one for you. I'm not a gold digger, Charlie. I love your dad. You don't love my dad, Paulina. I know ladies like you who run after vulnerable men only to hurt them and leave them all alone. Preachers, I told you coming here was a bad idea. I'm going home. That's a better decision. And please don't come back here. Charlie? Charlie? You are not going to marry that girl, dad. I don't support it and I would rather die than see it happen. Oh my god. What's all this? Paulina? Paulina? Paulina, you can't possibly leave this night. I told you I didn't want to come here, didn't I tell you? Don't worry about Charlie. He's not going to do anything. I'm his father and he can't do anything about my decisions. 
Rogers, will you take me home, please, or will the driver take me home? You are spending the night here, Paulina. We are both going inside the house together. I don't think this is a good time, Rogers. Maybe another time. Preferably when we get married and when Charlie has traveled. Paulina, will you listen to me? I don't want to be in a house filled with disagreement because of me. You know, it just reminds me of when I was with my parents. Every argument was because of me. I don't want to think I'm caused to bring disagreements between families. You are not caused, Paulina. Why would you ever think like that? I just want to go home. I've had enough for the day already. Please take me home. Fine, I'll take you home. I'm sorry about today. I'm sorry Charlie sounded that way to you. I'm really sorry. It's okay, Richards.